Hey everybody, welcome back. We are bringing you a new video today about drive shafts. We are in the AL Titanium Aaron Long drive shaft shop and we're going to give you a tutorial brought to you by Aaron on how to maintenance your ball drive shaft. And that's the right way to say it, but uh, pretty cool here. This is actually my shaft. We uh, had a little work done to it, a little off-season maintenance so we're going to have Aaron uh, show everybody what they need to know what they need to be looking for throughout the year on their drive shaft maintenance hi I'm Billy Dietrich sprint car mechanic and driver I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know we created this channel to share the good the bad and everything in between I'm also going to share some tutorials on basic 410 mechanics and parts and whatever else I feel like. So, like, subscribe, and enjoy the ride. Yeah, boys. Hi, guys. Aaron with AL Driveline. Uh, we have Billy's Drive Shaft here. I just wanted to go over a couple simple things as far as what you want to be looking for. Uh, when you do driveline maintenance, specifically with the swivel ball. There's a lot happening with the ball gear kit, uh, and there's some cool info that I just wanted to share with you guys. So first and foremost, let's take a look at this retaining ring. Um, retaining rings really are a single-use item. Um, it's a good idea to replace these every 8-10 races. Uh, they do lose their elasticity, and they are not really designed to be functioning at the temperature range that we put them through. So replace these every eight to 10 races because when they do crack and, uh, and they come apart, they're really hard to get out. So it's a good idea to pay attention to these. As far as the swivel ball itself, as long as you keep a good high temperature grease on these things, they're pretty user friendly. We recommend in a 410 to service them every three to four nights. Um, if you're in a 360 on shorter dry slick tracks, you can probably go six to eight races. Um, but it's a good idea to keep fresh grease on this really as often as your schedule allows. Um, one area of the drive shift that guys don't pay enough attention to is the splines underneath the ball gear. The surface hardness of the swivel ball is much, much harder than titanium, even heat treated titanium. So what you want to do once the drive line gets about 20 to 30 races on it, you want to remove the ball gear and grease between the ball and the shaft. That'll really help to protect these splines. The next area of the ball gear end of the shaft is this rubber boot. These things are very, very important and what guys do, they, make the often, they often make the mistake of cutting that zip tie when they do driveline service. I never suggest cutting that zip tie unless it's an absolute necessity as far as installing the swivel ball inside the coupler. The reason I don't like when guys cut this is because a lot of times they'll get in there with their pliers and it'll put a little tear in the seal and that tear spreads and then these seals end up flying apart. So leave the zip tie on there at all times if you're able to and when you, do, when you do maintenance, inspect these things. Make sure there's no tears, no cuts, because these things will fly apart. And when they fly apart, then all the grease comes out of the coupler, and then you end up toasting a swivel ball. On these countersunk screws, I never use Loctite. I always use either pressure lube or anesthesia, because when these are torqued properly to 45 foot-pounds, they do not come loose. So. With Loctite, it's pretty much a 99% chance that you have to take an oxyacetylene torch to it to get it out. And when you're on the road and you have to you know, replace a retaining ring or, uh, or a seal, you, the last thing you want to have to do is be heating this thing up to get it out. So 45 foot-pounds, pressure lube, or anesthesia is the right thing to do. I want to talk about the right greases to use uh, on the drive shaft. Up here on the yoke splines, it's pretty forgiving as to the type of grease that you use. As long as it's a quality pressure lube, uh, it's really not a big deal. The grease that really matters is the grease that you use on the swivel ball, swivel ball itself. This thing operates at a super, super high temperature, so we want to protect this as best we can. I suggest 
either a Neo Synthetics or even a Redline CV2 works pretty good on the swivel ball. Um, if you want maximum protection, especially you know when you go to places like Belusia and Eldora, uh, these places where you have a tremendous amount of load on the drive line, uh, what you can do is use this Crytox brand of grease that we sell. Um, this works so good you can actually run a 50-50 mixture of this with the Neo and that protects really well. As far as the grease between the ball gear and the drive shift itself, you do not need to worry about an extreme temperature grease for that particular area. You can use the same grease between the ball and the shaft that you do up on the yoke splines. Installing and removing the swivel ball, countersunk screw. I suggest this snap on 730 seconds As far as removing the swivel ball, this snap-on hex key is an absolute lifesaver. It's short and stubby and doesn't round off inside here. I would highly recommend always having one of these in your trailer. As far as holding the swivel ball to remove that countersunk screw, we have a ball gear tool that holds the drive shaft for you. You put this in the vise and it allows you to access that countersunk screw on the back of the drive shaft. This makes life easy too when you have to remove and install the ball gear. And you make those? We do. Awesome. So that was Aaron's little tutorial on how to maintain your drive shaft. Super important part of the race car uh, performance wise and routine maintenance wise too because it often gets overlooked and uh, you know if you ain't careful it can cost you a whole night to racetrack so this particular shaft like I said is, is my shaft and I um, actually had this end repaired this is the only drive shaft on the market that is repairable so if you would happen to you know wear this thing out which, which I did or whatever whatever happens you get in a crash call Aaron up and say hey you know I need my you know, my drive shaft checked out and you know, maybe need some maintenance. So, only repairable shaft on the market. Titanium, super lightweight. Uh, there's a lot more to this shaft as far as the performance goes that uh, is really, uh, you know, ahead of the game as far as everybody else goes. There is no other drive shaft on the market uh, like, like this thing. So, this tool, which Aaron showed you, I use this all the time. It is... It is great, you know, from trying to remove the ball and not having this tool, whether you're trying to do it the wrong way, you chuck the shaft in the vise or something like that. Boy, this tool is great. You know, you just chuck this in right in the vise. At least that's how I do it. Slide your shaft in there. Use the tools, like Aaron said. Remove the ball. Grease it the whole nine yards. Torque the bolt back in. Uh, yeah, this has really been a lifesaver. And, you know, if you're especially... You know, if you're, well, really, don't matter if you're on the road or not, you need to have this tool because it makes life easier working on your drive shaft. So, super cool, this drive shaft. Aaron came up with this idea a few years ago. Um, it's really taken over. Everybody wants one. So, if you don't have one, you should. <laughs> so, if you're in the market for a drive shaft like this, um, you can always go to RUPW.com, give us a call at the shop. You know, talk to me or my brother. We we traditionally stock this particular shaft. Uh, winner's ball end on this side, 32 spline on this side for 40 inch car. And if um, you know if we don't have something, we can always you can always get a hold of Aaron, ALDriveline.com. And of course, there's all different applications. Just just this particular one is one we use, but. You know, he's got, he makes them for the, the DMI style with the 16, 16, and 44, and all different kind of applications. So, RUPW.com, we keep them in stock, or you can always get hold of Aaron, ALDriveLines.com. We'll put a link in the description below, and uh, yeah, don't hesitate to give us a call.